Alright guys, girls, back out here tonight. My name is Brian, out here in my shop. And uh, this is going to be another video on uh, chip control, which is really just about me doing some turning using different inserts and some different speeds and feeds to kind of see what's working the best for me. Uh, what I've got here is a piece of uh, a little over an inch and a, about an inch and five eighths. Uh, tool steel. It's uh, got a hardened, scaled surface on the outside, top roll. Uh, I'm gonna rough this out to an inch and a half so that I can get it through the hole on my Monarch so I can cut off a bunch of smaller pieces, part them off. Uh, it's one of the drawbacks to these Monarch plays is they don't have a very big hole in them. This piece of steel just barely won't fit, an inch and a half will go through it, but this inch and five eighths plus another couple thousand, sixty or something like that, I think they leave scale cleaned up. Uh, it won't go through the hole, so I gotta rough this down so I can get it in here and do the rest of my turning on it. What I want to show you is I've got uh, a Kenna Metal CNMG. Uh, this is C and MG 643. Uh, grade is KC990. It's a steel and a stainless steel insert. I've done some really heavy roughing with this before. Uh, even with this particular insert that's in here on uh, piece of 1045. Gonna try it out on this tool steel. I've got a long length of shaft here, so I may run into some vibration issues. I'm sitting at, I'm at uh, 30 inches outside the chuck. So I'm getting a pretty good L over R ratio there to where stability might be an issue. Uh, we're just going to try and see. Uh, I think this insert work pretty good. It, it doesn't seem to push real hard, so I'm hoping it'll cut free enough that I can just rough on through this real quick, leave a decent finish on it. It doesn't have to be real good because like I'm just roughing this, it's all going to be returned. So the, the goal on this operation is to get this material off here and get it off fast and not wreck anything. So I'm going to fire this up. I'm going to start with this 487 RPM and I'm running a 15,000 speed rate and I am at 120 for depth of cut. So just under an eighth of an inch. So let's fire this up, see how it does. Alright, here we go. Good there, 15. I actually like that. Uh, let's slow it down a little bit just for comparison, so you can see what it looks like. To be seven and a half. We'll see how it improves the finish and affects the chip. Thousands. 
As you can see there, the insert's still good. Uh, got a pretty good uh, rough and finish on that. That's, uh, that's not bad at all. Didn't heat the part up a whole lot. I can hold on to that in my hand. Uh, so, looks like that's the good spot for this on this material at 15 thousandths. Works pretty good. Uh, took that one that uh, 125 depth of cut off air, no problem. So here we got a uh, nice pile. That's kind of what you like to see on your chips there coming off this stuff. When you get a nice, nice curve like that, uh, you're set pretty good. You can see how big a difference this makes if it's unsupported. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in here to this depth come in here and clean this up, leave the feeds and everything the same if it'll take it, and we'll see what kind of difference it makes on the finish and how this cuts, having this just sticking out here with uh, no tail stop. Just cantilever.
start getting some chatter there. Uh, I say that this uh, this length is too much for that much cut, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put another centering in here and do this again. This is where the TPG comes in. Go right in here. rigid an insert is that other one you kind of hear the harmonic in it but chattering and flexing but uh, we got that rough back far enough so we go back to the other insert it's 80 degree a lot more rigid better suited for this roughing application that's that in far enough Fifteen feet, right? This uh, CNMG was able to take more than twice the material at the 15,000 speed rate, same depth of cut as that T T P or T N G. Actually, that's a negative insert. A T N G lets you get in here, but uh, that less rigidity uh, kind of has some flex to it there. Got not as good a finish and. Probably if you had an intermittent cut, it would it would probably break the insert flexing that much. But this uh, this one here is a lot more rigid. Uh, it's like it does a good job. So hope you enjoyed this little info video. Uh, I like this technical side of the cutting. It's really cool to me playing with the different grades and the, the different styles of inserts and the rakes and all that stuff there's so many it seems like thousands of different varieties of this stuff every manufacturer has their own flavor of just about anything there's probably for any any material any speed you want to cut there's a perfect insert out there but what I try and do is find one that works good for a variety I'm a job shop I do a lot of different stuff it's pretty much never the same thing over again and a lot of times not even the same materials uh, I do a lot with this particular tool steel because I can send it off get it heat treated and get some really fantastic properties out of it for these high performance engines that I build so I do this one quite a bit so I, I like uh, trying these different inserts and finding out what works to get these jobs done as quick as possible and get them knocked out 
I said uh, this one's really just a rough end and I'm going to do some rough turning and these particular parts will actually go in the cylindrical grinder to be finished out. So See here after doing that uh, this was a total of three feet. Turn that three feet uh, the edge of this insert is still perfect so we got a lot of life left. Uh, that's another important thing. These things aren't cheap. So having an insert that can hold up in the job shop and do a good job is a, a big factor in being able to, to do a job. And Thanks for watching.